in here. Now it's going to ask me for an email address, and this is an invitation. So if you have a PhotoSpring account already, you can skip this by pressing the skip button here. Oh, it says skip there. Um, or if th this is your first PhotoSpring account, you can enter in an email address. And of course, you're going to use your own email address um, so that you'll get the invitation to your email. Or if you're inviting other people um, to contribute photos to your PhotoSpring frame, you can enter their email address. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, click on Submit, and then now it's telling me what uh, my frame code is. Now it says that we sent an email to my email, and um, if you want to see what that looks like, um, you'll see here um, I got the email invitation, and it just tells me that um, you've been invited to connect to this photo spring. And what I can do from this email is I click on the Connect button here, and it's going to take me to a website. And on this website, I can sign up or log in. So if I already have a PhotoSpring account, I can click on Login, and I can log into my PhotoSpring account. Or if I need to sign up for a new PhotoSpring account, I click Sign Up, and I can enter my email and password and do Sign Up, and that'll create a PhotoSpring account for me. Now, remember that this is, um, this is actually the web page for PhotoSpring. So after you go through this process, if you are going to be using your smartphone for PhotoSpring, uh, you're going to want to go to the App Store for iPhone or for Android phone and download the PhotoSpring app so that you can use that uh, directly. Okay, so now um, on this page, uh, you have the frame code, and this is the frame code that you're going to be using to uh, connect other devices to your PhotoSpring. So uh, as I explained, you can connect smartphones or you can connect computers where you can send photos and videos from those devices directly into your PhotoSpring. You can also invite family and friends with this frame code uh, so that they can also send photos directly to your PhotoSpring also. Um, so if this is all done, um, you saw that we went through the email. I'm going to click on the Skip button here, 